Hello guys, today's topic is how to program a Baofeng UV6. This is one of the dual band commercial type and handheld radios. It's a 5 watt output power and I have done a separate video on this uh, this model uh, if you check through my um, my videos list. But today is going to be on how to program this radio and how to read the frequencies from it and how to write to the radio using a computer. This is a, a Windows 8.1 uh, so uh, let's get started. Step number one you need to install the driver for the USB programming cable. Some of the cables come with a little disc but like a lot of the computers nowadays you don't have a CD-ROM. Um, you can download the drive from um, miklor.com that's M-I-K-L-O-R.com or you can plug it in and see if your computer can search for an appropriate driver for this USB cable. The next thing you will need on your computer is to have the UV6, UV7 programming software. This one was downloaded from the Baofeng's own website. And as you can see, you get a lot of question marks and that's because my computer is set up for English and it's not displaying the Chinese characters. Now a lot of people have asked me and the best thing to do is if you look at the top left of the screen, the second from last question marks, if you click on that, the first one's Chinese, second one is English. So if you click on English here, just yeah, was on the top left of your screen, you get this um, spreadsheet like information on your screen and now you should be able to change some of the settings because now it's back to English. Next you need to connect the radio to the computer via the USB. Just make sure the radio is switched off and let's see what happens. It's making the right noises. Now the radio is sw still switched off as you can see but we have plugged it into the cable and we're going to look at the communications setting. Now this is where a lot of the problems um, people have. When you start the program first and then connect the radio and then look at the communication port setup, sometimes you get the wrong information. For example, it shouldn't be COM1, it should be COM4. So uh, what we're going to do is, if you have that trouble, you won't be able to read or write uh, into your radio. So you just need to do is close this program and find it again with your radio connected already uh, you just need to relaunch your program and if you remember to go to the top left of the screen and change that to English and if you look at communications now you see that is on COM4 now different computers uh, your computer may have a different uh, communications port but it doesn't matter it just shows that you need to connect the radio first, then launch the program. With the right communication port selected, just confirm that. Now you can power on the radio. Obviously there's no speaker because you've plugged in the cable. Now to read the frequencies, what frequency is on the radio, uh, all you need to do is just pay attention to the, um, the one of the very few things on the, on the uh, menu area. So you can click on program and then you can read from radio or you can do one of these uh, shortcuts so I said read data from radio click on that once you get uh, this dialog box come up it just says data read data from radio just click on read and wait for the blocks to complete you should have the light flashing on the radio now it's flashing red because you're reading uh, when you're writing to it if I remember right it should flash green You will get one of these boxes uh, when your reading process has completed. So complete reading the data from the transceiver. Say OK to that. Now this doesn't automatically close. All you need to do is just say cancel. Now you can see that these frequencies have come up on your screen. Now this is from one of my customers and uh, they need to um, uh, write the same frequencies into a new radio, so this is what I'm, I'm about to do.
The frequencies you see on the screen are the, if you like, master frequencies, and I'm going to keep these uh, so I can write the same information to other radios, and this include the radio settings, for example, the English and uh, you know other things. If you click on Edit, uh, you can look at the um, optional features, mm -hmm. and you can see uh, the other settings like the timeout timer, squelch level and all the other things have been set to the customer's requirement because they program the the first lots of radios. So if I just close this one and I do need to save a copy of these master frequencies so just click on file and then save. Um, the default path is your you know computer C drive, computer uh, program files and I've got a folder called UV6, UV7 we're now going to write these frequencies, the same frequencies, into uh, a new radio. So, as if you just launched a program, you need to be able to find the file that you want to use to speak to your radio. So, go to File, and then go to Open, and select the data you want, and then Confirm Radio. This is our radio number two. Uh, i.e. the new radio that we need to program with the same frequency. Um, I didn't unplug the USB from the computer end. All I did was uh, to swap the radio, uh, switch the first one off, and then connect the second one, and then turn the second one on. Now you should be able to um, just write directly to the radio by clicking one of these um, buttons on the top left. So if I just move the screen, you can either do the program and then write to radio, or you can do this uh, shortcuts icon. So again when that happens you get this uh, box on the screen just say right. Now when you click right you should see the the light changes um, to green. If you can see that. It's a very faint green colour. Yeah it's a flashing green on top of the radio. Now it's writing rather slowly but that's not a problem so it's just doing data blocks or 12 data blocks and etc. So uh, we'll come back to this when it's finished. Okay, so it's still going, uh, still going. Okay, we'll come back to it later. All right, it should be finished now, and you should see a box pop up to tell you that it's complete. Like now. Okay, it says complete writing parameters to the transceiver. Okay, that, close this box, and now, Hopefully, you have completed your programming of the Baofeng UV6. Let's just check if it works. Okay, so I have checked all 10 frequencies on the radio and they all work fine. And that's it, that's the end of this um, tutorial. If you would like any other um, topic, anything discussed, I'll leave your comment below and to give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. See you next time from Handy Radio.